Are you looking for the best loppers in this video? We will look at some of the 5 best loppers on the market. Before we get started with our video, we have included links in the description. So make sure you check those out to see which one is in your budget range. Starting at number 1 Fiskars 391 to 4,611,003 Bypass Lopper 28-inch for reasonably priced cutters that don't sacrifice performance. These Fiskars Bypass Loppers are a solid choice. The rust-resistant stainless steel blades are hardened and precision ground, meaning they'll retain their edge over an extended period. The low friction coating allows the blades to cut through wood easily and results in less sap residue. I found these Fisker loppers easy to use on green branches and the cutting action to be super smooth. I didn't spot any tearing of the limbs or ragged cuts, which tend to make a tree more susceptible to disease. These 28-inch cutters are suitable for living green growth with a cutting capacity of branches up to 1.5 inches thick, shock-absorbing bumpers make the tool easier to use and padded grips offer additional comfort. While these loppers aren't the lightest on the list they still weigh, a modest 2.9 pounds, so they're not difficult to use when cutting overhead after testing. I found the coated non-stick blade wiped clean with just a soft cloth. This is important to me. These bypass loppers I've owned in the past were difficult to clean, requiring scrubbing with steel wool and a lubricant. All loppers used to cut green wood will get slightly wet and may become covered in sticky sap. So being able to wipe the blade clean is a big plus those looking for a quality cutting tool at a reasonable price won't be disappointed with these Fisker loppers. At number 2 Falco F22 Pruning Shear these sturdy bypass loppers are a serious upgrade in performance and ergonomics. The hardened carbon steel blades are Swiss-made designed for making clean precise cuts. Users can also resharpen the blades as needed. Everything about these loppers screams quality they're made to last, and all of the parts are replaceable. So this may be the last lopper you'll ever buy. The forged aluminum handles are smooth to the touch, but the tool weighs in at 4.4 pounds, so it's not for the faint of heart with a 33-inch length. These loppers can reach up to trim higher branches. I found it most comfortable to cut branches at waist level or lower, after trimming a few overhead branches. I started to feel some wrist and arm fatigue. The grips on these cutters are non-slip with a slight inward angle, allowing users to exert force while maintaining a more comfortable arm position. Built-in shock absorbers on the handles protect the arms and wrists so they're well suited for intense time-consuming landscaping tasks. This is a lopper for the serious arborist, and it makes sharp clean cuts on greenwood. At number 3 Tabor Tools GB19 Amble Lopper Compound Action I was pleasantly surprised by the power of these smaller loppers, at just 19 inches long. They were the shortest of all the loppers tested, so I didn't think they'd offer much cutting power. Was I ever surprised the compound gear mechanism provides enhanced force for effective cuts through dry wood? I snapped right through an ages-old dead branch on my rosebush, that was at least 1.25 inches in diameter. The carbon steel blades are hardened to increase durability and maintain their edge, even with heavy use. They're rust-resistant and easy to clean, with a non-stick coating that protects the blades and prevents residue buildup. I just wiped them clean with a damp rag, and then followed up with a dry rag. The blade's edge can be manually sharpened in the future. Right now it's razor sharp, and a good 30 minutes of cutting out dry rose branches didn't dull it. The compact length of these loppers is ideal for cutting close to the body, trimming undergrowth and pruning low-hanging branches, such as those of a potted plant. This tool is one of the most user-friendly loppers I tested with a shorter, more manageable length, comfortable non-slip grip, and a 1.75-pound weight. At number 4 Corona Tools 31-inch dual-link bypass lopper the comfort gel grips on these Corona loppers felt so good, I didn't even consider wearing gloves. When using them my hands didn't slip, so I didn't have to worry about blisters. The grips offer just the right amount of padding while remaining solid, and the slightly curved shapes fit nicely in my hands. The compound action loppers are well suited for cutting thick branches. I was able to remove with these an unwanted branch on an apple tree that was over 1.5 inches in diameter. The long aluminum arms make it possible to generate a lot of leverage. The additional compound link magnifies cutting force and reduces the necessary work, while sturdy steel handles manage the extra power. At 3.8 pounds, the Corona loppers are heavier than some of the ones I tested, but they're not quite as heavy as other ratcheting models. These cutters have a narrower blade opening, so they're beneficial for getting it hard. To reach tree limbs when I first examined the loppers, I was disappointed at what appeared to be a plastic link on the opening mechanism. While it is plastic, 
it's actually a bumper guard. An identical steel link on the back side is the actual opening mechanism. So the plastic acts as more of a stabilizer. At number 5 Taper Tools GG12 a anvil lopper with compound action at first. I wondered if the Taper Tool and the loppers would cut through stiff dead branches. Since they don't come with ratcheting action, I need not have worried the loppers instead feature compound cutting action via a short pivoting arm. Located at the fulcrum of the blades, that increases cutting power. The manufacturer advertises the loppers as being able to cut through dry branches up to 2 inches thick. I didn't quite pull that off, but I was able to cut through a dead branch on an elm tree that was 1.5 inches thick, someone with a bit more arm strength than me could likely cut through a 2-inch branch. I was super impressed with the grips on this set of loppers, they're soft and slightly padded, and I could exert pressure without my hand, slipping at 30 inches long. The sizable arms allowed me to increase my leverage on the branches, a shock-absorbing bumper, would have been a nice addition. But this is a decent set of loppers for cutting dry wood at 3.5 pounds. The Tabor loppers are well suited for use overhead, without too much wrist and arm fatigue for an average user. Thanks you for watching guys. I hope you liked this video. If this video was helpful to you please make sure like comment and subscribe. If you have any question related to this product, you can leave a comment down below I will get back to you as soon as possible.